Hello, everyone. I'm Jess Altieri, a.k.a. Jess Jess, the CEO and certified sommelier of Wine Channel TV. And today we're getting ready for the second annual New Zealand Wine Day on behalf of Complexity Fine Wines. The event will actually be taking place on February 4th right here at the Kenmore Live Studios in Chicago. And you can join in online around the world. Um, and as you may know, Complexity brings together 21 of New Zealand's greatest wineries to really help establish a presence of New Zealand's fine wines in the U.S. And today, I'm fortunate enough to be joined by Tim Heath of Cloudy Bay, who's live from New Zealand. Hi, Tim. How are you? Uh, Jess, very good, thanks. And how are things in New Zealand? I take it it's pretty sunny right now and warm, not like cold Chicago. Yeah, exactly. So we're just um, partway through the beginning of the growing season. Uh, we're actually uh, kind of monitoring the, the flowering of the, the Chardonnay at the moment out in the vineyard. So uh, looking forward to seeing some baby bunches uh, hanging on the vine pretty shortly. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm extremely jealous I'm not out there right now. But in case people aren't aware of who you are, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and I guess like where your passion for wine really came from? Yeah, sure. So I, I've been at Cloudy Bay for seven years now. Um, I've got a, a, some background in um, uh, winemaking in Australia and also in the Northern Rhone in, in France. Um, and, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't say that I've had a, a burning passion to be a winemaker since I was, uh, you know, a small boy or anything like that. <laughs> I, I don't come from a wine family, but uh, I always loved to, to cook and was working in a kitchen for a while. And then um, I guess my love of food sort of rolled into a love of wine and then uh, ended up working in the wine industry. And it's, it's been a pretty good fit. Um, that's a you know, really challenging job. Uh, you're balancing sort of lots of different aspects of um, uh, things in the winery. But ultimately, it's just a, a real pleasure to sort of work with great fruit and um, sort of express a story and, and a season um, in, a, in a glass and actually be able to, to sort of show something to people um, uh, that way. You know, that's really interesting. And I, I know the um, the winery was established in 1985, and it's known, I mean, you can correct me, it's known for its really unique maritime climate, correct? And you have kind of the longest hours of sunshine of any place in New Zealand. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, correct. Um, yep, 1985, and a big feature of, of where we are is the, is the climate. That's, um, I guess, the thing that makes or breaks any, any wine region, but... You're right, it is a, a strongly maritime climate, so we have quite cool nights, but being close to the water really moderates the, the evening temperatures. So it gets cold, but not too cold, and it's a really good fit for all cool, cool climate varieties like Sauvignon, Chardonnay and Pinot. And so tell us, is that what consumers should expect, I mean, from your wines, making them really unique? Does it come from the climate, you would say, specifically? Yeah, yes, I think the, the climate, the, the type of soil that we've got, and um, we've, we've got four estate vineyard blocks, and they've really been chosen over time for the type of soil that they have, and those soils, uh, special relationship with the, the variety that that particular vineyard is focusing on. So with um, two of the blocks that have a major focus on Sauvignon, they're really free-draining soils, um, and Sauvignon's a really vigorous plant that likes to kind of have to work quite hard. Um, and those sort of bony, lean soils are great for that variety. Then we've got another a block up in quite a cold pocket on the, the southern side of the Wairau Valley, uh, which has uh, heavier soils. There's a bit more clay in the soil, and that really works quite well with, with Pinot. So it's kind of a horses for courses thing. Um, but uh, I think... When people look at our, our wines, I think you'll see a really vibrant and pure expression of uh, New Zealand and specifically Marlborough uh, fruit. So there's a, a lovely sort of freshness to those flavours, um, nice acidity as well, and that's a real key, I think, to all of the wines. And you know, going over and above that, I think you'll see um, some, some sort of sensitive handling as far as the winemaking goes, building in good texture, complexity and, and savouriness, which sort of is the hallmark of good wine to me. It goes beyond just simple fruit flavours. Um, that I think all of that sort of winemaker influence is handled in a way that uh, ultimately respects our vineyard sites and that's the real key for me. Good wine should talk about um, the vineyard, not, not really as a winemaker. 
I know, I agree. And you mentioned earlier, though, today when we were talking that you're hard at work. What are you working on specifically right now in the vineyard? I was kind of interested. Yeah, yep. So um, in, in the winery at the moment, um, we're going through a process called uh, tirage, which is the, it's growing all of the yeast and bottling our, our sparkling wine, which is a, a relatively involved process, but uh, got a, a lot of fun. Um, and that's probably something that people don't know that Cloudy Bay uh, does in in the in the US market is um, we actually make a, a you know a big part of who we are is sparkling wine. We made a sparkling wine in 1987. It's been part of who we are ever since then. Um, and the climate here lends itself really well to sparkling wine. Uh, like I talked about the acid before, it's sort of fresh flavors, fresh vibrant acidity, and all the things that you really want in good good sparkling wine. And I think that'd be a perfect pairing for the holidays coming up. I was going to ask, do you have any favorite New Zealand uh, wine pairings? Oh, look, for me, it's, uh, there's so many different things I enjoy, and it all depends on, on what I'm drinking. But, I mean, in the summer, you can't go past uh, a good, fresh glass of Sauvignon with some delicious seafood um, straight out of the ocean from the Marlborough Sounds. It's uh-huh. a, a pretty hard combination to beat, in my book. That sounds pretty perfect in my book. <laughs> and uh, I yeah, guess kind of, <laughs> on a closing note, I mean, talk to us about, uh, you know, New Zealand Wine Day. It's coming up, and this is, I know, your second year participating. Can you tell us about your relationship yeah. with Complexity and, you know, some of the benefits you've seen of really working with them? Yeah, look, the, the whole concept is, is fantastic. There's a, a group of uh, producers here who are really focused on um, showcasing what New Zealand does best, and that is uh, sort of high-end premium wines uh, made with a lot of love. Um, and I guess we, we really wanted as a, a group of producers that had the same um, mindset and ethos to, to kind of beat the drum a little bit and get the message out there. And uh, this whole complexity group is a great way of doing that. It's, uh, I guess, a united voice about... Um, you know, what we're doing, why we're doing it, and it's a you know a nice way to get that message across. And yeah, you know, it's a team thing. Um, New Zealanders have a great sense of um, camaraderie, and uh, so people you know, we're not we don't see ourselves as competitors. We're we're part of a team and sort of working as one big family. And um, so that's quite a powerful thing, a really interesting thing. And when you look at the actual portfolio of wines that's sort of representing and um, sort of presenting this message, uh, there's huge variation um, in style and sort of fruit flavors. So that's a pretty fascinating, uh, fascinating message, I think. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you anymore. I mean, Complexity is doing a phenomenal job, and that's why I'm so excited again for the second annual New Zealand Wine Day. Again, it'll be February 4th, and hopefully you may be coming out to Chicago, you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan at this stage. Um, shoot over there and um, and help beat the drum and uh, and uh, be great to get over to Chicago. Fantastic. And in case people or yourself can't make it, again, it'll be February 4th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And for more information, everyone can visit complexity.co.nz or the Complexity Facebook page. Thank you again so much, Tim, and I look forward to seeing you soon. I have my holiday wine glass already. <laughs> yeah. Good on you. Start early. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Bye.